So to install the uh, Indiana Jones, it really installs right off the, the CD. So you just simply bring it up here and click on it, and it'll run the install program. And we just click on it, and it whips it right into shape. And here we go. And it goes through a dual CD install, and I'm going to skip through some of the stuff here to make this a little faster. But it runs and just goes through the regular install. You can change the directory. I'm going to put it, uh, after I agree to this, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a different place and do a custom install, which I do for m almost every game or every program I run, because I want to see what the options are anyways. So I'm going to go up to my game uh, hard drive that I have for games and uh, put it on there. So uh, I'm going to go out there to the drive. I'm going to copy the name because I'm going to use it again because the game wants to install it in a game of its choosing. Uh, and so I find that to be the best is to follow the naming convention. Just put it underneath a games or an entertainment directory. But it still has the same name that the program put in. So we put that in there and we sit there and we say OK. Uh, it does the usual stuff about setup, you know, shortcuts and all that. And we're going to say no on that. And then we're going to go ahead and say uh, come back here and say oh. OK, and it's going to start the install here as soon as it accesses the CD. Now, again, uh, doing this, I'm, it's going to go through a whole bunch of these screens. And, and now again, I'm skipping through a lot of this. It's a lot longer install. Uh, it's an older CD, but there's two disks set. And uh, we're going to go through all this and jump through the, some of the screens here. And we're just about done here, except it's going to ask for a second disk. So you put in the second disk, and you go through the same thing. You go through the install procedure there. And the, the reason I want to show you this is that it installs all the content onto the disk. That's very, very important that it's there for you. And by the way, if it, Windows pops up and gives you this, you say ignore it. You don't want anything to happen. So here we are. We're just about done with the installation. And it's going to come up and try to run the game. And you're going to see what happens. It doesn't. It gives you an error message. Very important. You, you might get a little frustrated with this. Oh, damn, it's not going to run after all that. And matter of fact, if you come over here and you go here and you try to run, it says it can't run in this PC. Ignore that because we're going to show you how to run the game. It's a simple, simple step. You're just going to go to a different directory. We're going to go right back here to our where we have it installed. Uh, we're going to go here from the top down, go there. We're going to skip past that. We're going to go down over here. We're going to click on, and I'm going to run that. We're going to click on here. We're going to go to the bin directory and run the setup here. And watch what happens. And we're in, it launches right into the game. So we're in the game now, and we're in the setup for the, uh, the display and all that stuff. It launches the game just perfectly fine. So while we're in here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the options. And I'm, not, I'm going to skip by the different audio and camera and all that difficulty. We're going to go right to display. And let's start out at 800 by 600, but after a while, I got up to a respectable 1280 by uh, 768. And also while we're here, we're going to shut the game down for a second. We're going to go out and show you how to pin this to your Windows 8 start screen. Because after all, this is a Windows 8 video. And again, you go down and you skip past everything. You go right back to that EXE that you had. You're not going to pin that. You're going to go to the bin directory and you're going to click on that. And you're going to say pin, to right click and say pin to start. So what that means is, is that when you go over to your start screen, you're going to find, if you scroll over to the right, there it is. Now I have a setup over here of my legacy games over here, all these different legacy games, which is just some of the ones I'm going to do. And we're ready to launch it right from here and play the game. Before that, we're going to show you how to do a patch, and we're going to show you how to do it with no CD. Now, there's a couple of important things during this next series here, these instructions you're going to have to uh, really be concerned about, and that is where you're going to get your patch up. Because here we're at the Lucas site, Art site, and if we click on this game, we find the game, and it shows the patch for it in their support section. Uh, naturally, you say, oh, look, this is it. I'm going to download it from their FTP site. No problem whatsoever. Great. Well, guess what? It takes a lot longer than this, but it eventually times out in doing research. There is no download for uh, the FTP site is not working for LucasArts. So I went and tried to find some places. So I found it on the download on CNET, but CNET can be a download.com can be a very dangerous place. Uh, and we're going to see why here in a second. But we're going to go ahead and go through the download process. Plus, I'm going to show you some things to keep you from getting unwanted software installed on your system while you're doing this. The good news is CNET's a great place to find stuff because it uh, stores stuff out there. So it has that. So, But if you click on it, you got to be a little careful because it's going to run an installer. It's not going to just download the file for you. 
And a lot of places have switched over this to where they run their own software, which then installs a program. Well, in the meantime, it does some other things. So if you see up here, even if you have to restart the download, it's going to run this installer instead of down the download. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. But be careful, because as it comes up, watch what happens. The screen pops up and it says, oh, look, let's do that. Oh, look, it's download, do that. Next step, okay? And the next step is download, secure download, something like that. So we're going to take a look. It's going to go to the next step. But then you see this is install this, the, the, my home page in the default search, decline the gray button. Now it's going to be some TV to your desktop crap, decline. Uh, one click drives, decline. Uh, my PC backup, decline. Now it's downloading your software. Make sure you decline every other thing. You got to keep an eye on that. Now it's just seen that Adobe does it. A lot of people do it. Uh, again, uh, install now uh, to go ahead and install the software on your computer. Don't do it. Just say later, and you can go up now. I put it in my cache over here, uh, you, underneath your name. So you have to go down and go find the uh, the download. And let's uh, let's look for it here. Uh, let's change it to file names and sure enough there it is there now we can go ahead I'm going to go ahead and open up another window so I can I can go ahead and copy that to somewhere else Oh, actually I can just drag it over here. I'm going to go find a place to drag it to uh, Let's find uh, there we are I'm gonna find I'm gonna put it inside the actual directory for it So I'm gonna go here to the download Indiana Jones and I'm just gonna drop it in there and that way uh, I can run the, the patch from there rather from a temporary directory. So it'd be that as maybe we're going to go back out over here and say go back to there. Come over here to the games, find Indiana Jones, come in here, and there's the patch right there. So now uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I don't want software sitting on my hard drive from other places. So I'm going to delete that real quick. I'm going to come over here and run the install the patch installer and it goes in there and it is the indiana jones update installer and it tells you exactly what's going on so you just say continue it does the update and you're done it's been successfully installed now it opens up a little read uh readme file and it talks a little bit of how what it does and what it fixes uh nothing really critical by the way uh it's not stuff that really may not apply even apply we didn't even need it but I thought I'd show you how to get the patch and how to download it and how to be safe when you're doing that. So that's how you uh, patch the, the game. Now, one more thing uh, that we're going to go over, and that is there's a place you can go to get patches for that run games that require CDs and not get them. It's called Game Copy World. Again, you have to be careful going to Game Copy World because they try and do the same thing as what I just demonstrated with CNET. So we're going to go over there and we're going to find Game Copy World. Uh, it's a little funky looking kind of place, but it has a lot of good software patches and stuff out there. So if we're going to go on over here, we're going to click on the main site there to go to it. First of all, it's, it talks about it's not for copying games. You're not supposed to be downloading games. You're not supposed to be doing anything. It's, it's for you to back up games, and that's it, or patches. It does not violate copyright. So it does that, and it says you have to say enter. Do you agree to all this? And that's a, a legal thing, of course. Now, uh, if you watch here, you, you see there's all this stuff that's going around. Ignore it all. Right near the center, you'll see there it says there's all available games. You click on the game index. And you come in here and you type in the name of the game you need to get a patch for or a uh, no CD uh, hack. So you sit there and say search. And there it is. And there's you'll see the games. And you see that the uh, ones we want is the third one down, which is the Indiana Jones attempt. If you click on this, and it'll go to the page that has all the different kinds of files that are here for it. So if we click on that and go up to the top and there's a list of the files. We need that first one right there. We just patched it to 1.01. .01, so we click on that and it jumps down the page. Now yeah, all on the stage we have things like the French version and all that and all that. If you don't have the patches, the 1.00 version, we but basically oh we don't care. What we care about is we're gonna go back down to the uh, to that page and we're going to go ahead and and run this CD patch. Now to do that, we're going to click over. Don't click up there. We're going to click up, not even there, but right there on that little icon. You click there, and there it is. This is also an ad. Do not say you're downloading. Do not click on anything here. Don't touch that. Don't click. Go up to the top. You see where it says skip ad up at the upper right-hand corner, and say skip ad because you're not downloading your game patch. It'll take you over here to the mirror. You click here, and 
you know, there's the file you're trying to get. And then that, that's the Indiana Jones Temple of, or Emperor's Tomb. It's a rare file. It's a, that's a compressed zip file. You're going to need an extractor to extract it. But now you'll see down here, that's what I'm getting. I'm not getting an EXE. I'm getting the compressed file that I'm going to unpack to do this. Now you're going to get that rare file. Like I said, you're going to go have to go get the software. There's archivers on compression zip files, that zip programs that will do that. Uh, so you're going to have to find that in order to unzip it. Now I'm not going to go through the un extraction routine to go do that. You have to go find this, that program yourself to extract it. But also, you know, once you have it, it'll just give you a new EXE and you go replace the EXE in your Indiana Jones directory with that. And so with that, uh, we're finally ready to actually run the program. So from the start, start screen and icon or tile that we put in or from the game, we click on it. There's a momentary black screen. I just hit the escape button to get to it. Uh, there may be a little bit of a uh, cutscene that we're not seeing there, but uh, later on you'll see here in a moment that the cutscenes are fine. And you'll notice as I go around here, I'm using my usual WASD keys to move around my mouse. Uh, if I look around here at the uh, screen, great. Everything's running perfectly fine. There's no hitches, no glitz, no, no problems with the uh, display. If I look over here uh, at the uh, waterfall, no problem whatsoever. And the yellow round dot, by the way, is the program during the recording that's highlighting the mouse. Let's do a jump here. We get Indy to go across here. This is the initial mode, so it's giving us all the hints to how to operate the program and how to use the controls. Come over here, and we'll go up here, and we'll look around again. Everything's perfectly running great. Water to fill up my canteen. So uh, we sit there and uh, do it as the instructions say. Let's go up here and go on to the next level. Uh, climb up there. And again, no glitches, no nothing. Everything's rendering fine. No operation, no slowdowns, no lags anywhere, nothing. So you tend to jump over there. We pull up over here, run into this room. And there we have our machete. Now, because, remember, the game loaded itself, all the CDs got loaded during the install, and the patch will let us run without CDs. You don't have to put your, your CD in the hard drive or the uh, disk drive. You can just run this anytime you want because those files are on your... Uh, hard drive, and which is important because years ago, this used to be a big game, but now it's nothing compared to the terabyte hard drives and stuff that are out there. So having an entire CD installed is, doesn't take up that much room. You can enjoy your game without having to dig out your CD every time you want to use it. So we're going on to the first cutscene here. We're going to get past all this here, uh, and then we're going to jump down here, and you'll see that uh, Indy comes down to the bottom down here. A minor cutscene here. Uh, but we're going to walk up through one more set here and through one cutscene. So this is Indiana Jones, The Emperor's Tomb, 2003 game. It's really great, uh, runs perfectly, and uh, you see the cutscenes run and everything. So nothing to fear from Windows 8. If you have Indiana Jones, uh, go ahead and install it and run it. If not, you can get on Amazon pretty cheap and have some fun. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. have uh, hundreds of videos out there, and we're adding more every day.